Now, before we get started, we do want to let everybody in on a few things that are available to you besides simply witnessing the duck march. One of those things is to come up and visit the plantation rooftop. From there, you have a fantastic view of downtown. All you have to do is press S for Skyway on any one of the elevators. That'll take you all the way to the top. Once you get off the elevator, follow that out to the right, and then it'll take you on to the rooftop area where you can overlook the Mississippi River, overlook downtown. Again, just a fantastic view. So please, feel free to come up and visit there. Now, if visiting the rooftop wasn't necessarily in your plans, no worries. There are plenty of things for you to do in the lobby area. So please, enjoy your time at the South Grand Hotel. Now, we do want everybody to know a little bit of the history of the Peabody itself. See, the original hotel actually opened up a couple of blocks from here at the corner of Main and Monroe back in 1869. Colonel Robert Brinkley had determined to build the most spectacular hotel the Mid-South had ever seen. We want to put it right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Well, his plan was to unveil the Brinkley House, obviously named after his family. However, two months before they held the grand opening, he got word that a very good friend of his, Mr. George Peabody, had passed away. Well, in order to honor his good friend, he decided to change the name from the Brinkley House to the Peabody Hotel. As I mentioned, they opened in 1869, but by 1921, they realized they were going to need to expand and relocate. So they started looking for the property around the city, found this property here at 149 Union Avenue. They began construction, and on September 1st, 1925, we opened the doors to the beautiful hotel that we stand in today. When this hotel opened, it opened at just under the $5 million budget. Not a bad chunk of change for the mid-20s. And as you can tell by looking around, they did a fabulous job. Now, for the reason that we are all here. Why are we here, folks? Sing it the ducks. The ducks. <laughs> How in the world did we get to be known as the hotel with the ducks? Well, it's actually kind of funny because the whole thing started off as a practical joke. See, back in the 1920s and 30s, it was legal to use live duck decoys while duck hunting. Well, the original general manager of the hotel, Mr. Frank Shutt, and a buddy of his name, Chip, they headed over to Arkansas to do a little hunting, and... Well, and apparently in 1933, they didn't have a whole lot to help keep them warm. So they had to rely on the um, liquid heat, shall we say? A little bit of the uh, Tennessee sipping whiskey. <laughs> what most adults in here today know as Jack Daniels. So, after a full day of staying warm, they thought it would be funny to play a joke from the guests of the hotel, and instead of dropping their live dog decoys off at the farm, they decided to sneak in the lobby and drop them off in the fountain instead. Well, they went on up to their rooms to sleep it off in the night. When they came back down the next morning, they found two things. One, the ducks were still there. They didn't get out, wander off, go see the sights of Memphis or anything like that. And two, well, a large crowd had gathered. So I thought, wow, what a wonderful idea. What a great way to bring people into the hotel. Thus, we are celebrating our 75th anniversary of having ducks in our fountain. Well, by 1940, they decided that they wanted to turn it into a little bit of a production. So I spoke to a gentleman that was working with us, a gentleman by the name of Edward Pembroke. See, Chief Pembroke was a retired animal trainer for Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. He told him, we gave him the opportunity, he would train five North American mallards, one male, which is the drake, four females, which are the hens. He would train them every day at 11 o'clock, march through the hotel, to ride down in the elevator, to march across the red carpet, then hang out in the fountain all day. <laughs> then at 5 o'clock in the evening, reverse the process, and head back up to their rooms. <laughs> now, not only did Mr. Pepper do that, but he did so for 50 years. That is where he came up with the Duck Master title. I figured anybody that does something consistently for 50 years is pretty much a master at it. Now, Mr. Pembroke is no longer with us, but we do owe him a great debt of gratitude. He used to take the ducks all over the country. Some of you may remember seeing him on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. He is featured in People Magazine. He even made a very special appearance on Sesame Street for National Rubber Duck Day. 
<laughs> he needs to do all kinds of great things promoting this wonderful hotel and our fine feathered friends. So in order to honor him, we placed a beautiful portrait and a brief bio of his right inside the valley entrance over there. So if you get a chance, stop by, say hi to Mr. Pepper and tell him thanks for all that he's done for the hotel and for the ducks. Now, what is about to happen? I'm going to head upstairs to march it across the rooftop. It does take them a couple of extra moments in the morning to make it all the way around. We're going to ride down to the elevator right at 11 o'clock. The elevator door is going to open and the ducks are going to come marching down the red carpet here. Now, just a few things. One, it is important that everybody does stay back off of the marble all the way around. That way everybody can have a decent view in. Also, it is very important that everybody stays off the red carpet. So the ducks have one thing in mind, and it's that water. We want to make sure that they have a nice, clear path. And finally, please, feel free to take as many photos as you like. The flash does not bother them. However, we do ask that you do not try to reach in and touch the ducks. We want to say thank all of you for being here. Thank you for making the Peabody a part of your trip into Memphis. We'll be back down with the ducks in just a few moments. Right. You need everybody back off the bar.